Hi everyone, Matt here from CarWow. So today we're gonna to have another drag race. Now I'm sat in a Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo Turbo Hybrid SE, longest name in car history, probably got it wrong. Next to me is a Mercedes AMG E63 S Estate, also quite a long name. What is it with cars and their super long names? I've got a four litre twin turbo V8, which is assisted by an electrical motor. And that means that I have 680 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque, also got all wheel drive, launch control, automatic gearbox, and because it's got that electric assistance, should be quick off the line. That Mercedes has a four litre twin turbo V8 with 612 horsepower, yet it has the same 850 newton meters of torque as this Porsche has. It's got a nine speed automatic gearbox, launch control, and all wheel drive. Now make sure you're following us on Instagram at Carwag Cars. Also, ensure you subscribe to this channel. You do not want to miss any of these drag races. Three, two, one. Oh, this gets on the line good. So does that. Come on, Porsche. So then what exactly happened? Well, the electric motor really helped the Porsche get off the line quick. It did the standing quarter mile in 11.1 seconds. The Mercedes never quite caught up after the Porsche's lightning start. It crossed the line in 11.3 seconds. Now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in auto mode and in comfort setting. As if you're just cruising along, we're gonna see what happens. I'll count it in. Three, two, one, go! This kicked down quite slowly, actually. It didn't seem to have much of an advantage. And wait a minute! The Merc's got it! Damn. I'm so shocked, you know, this has that electric boost. And so I think it just picked up instantly, but it didn't. It kind of faltered a bit on kick down. Very odd. And you got off quicker just with the normal engine. No clever electric system. Just a good old uh, V8. It's a great engine in that Mercedes. I prefer it than the one in this car. What we're going to do now is a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the car in sport setting and locked in third gear. So it's all about the response of the engine. Gearbox doesn't come into this. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. This picked up better then. I'm on it, but, oh, it's coming past at 130 miles an hour. When the gearbox doesn't have to kick down, it's just on the response. You do feel the benefit of that electric motor just giving that instant reaction over the turbocharged engine which obviously has to spool up a bit and do its thing but then eventually if we're on the autobahn the mercedes would have come past as it did then at 130. finally then we're going to have a brake test full emergency stop from 70 miles an hour when we hit the line come on come on come on no 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 it was close which is pretty blooming good going really, when you consider that this car weighs 2.9 tonnes, whereas that is just over two tonnes. 2.9 tonnes, that's like as heavy as an African elephant. Anyway, it means that overall, the Mercedes wins this contest. <laughs>